hey guys i hope you are doing really good and i'm up here with a new video and in this video i'm gonna tell you about how to read first aid for usmle step one so this is our bible book for usmle as you all know that so i'll be sharing few tips uh, on how to read it and yield maximum results because i did in a mannerly and organized way so i can better tell you how to proceed for so the first thing I want to tell you about how to read your first aid for USMLE step one is that go and buy the latest version of the book available. There are many reviews and many experiences of the student telling that there's not much of a difference uh, from the previous uh, you know editions which are available in the market. But yeah, if the publisher has you know uh, got it published for a new edition there must be some significant changes uh, which you need to know for example if you are having the first aid uh, edition 2017 and uh, right now it's 2020 edition in the market so there would be definitely many changes which would you see in the uh, new edition i've already posted on my facebook page about uh, the recent changes that they have you know come up with in the new book so the first step is to get yourself a new first aid that is the latest edition. So the second tip I want to give you guys is to get an e-copy of the book. So getting a digital book is really important. You can uh, you know download it online or you can buy it from the source. <clears throat> the, the very gist of getting you an e-book is that it will be very convenient and easy for you guys to you know carry it along with you wherever you go suppose you're working at a hospital so that would you know be uh, very easy and convenient for you to carry it to the hospital even if you're traveling then uh, then also it is you know very convenient for you the thing is that you don't have to carry that extra burden with you all the time the another tip is that it would help to break the monotony like we often get bored uh, reading the same book over and over again and we know that first aid is the bible of usmle so this is the only book we have to stick through throughout our step one preparation so ebook would help to break the boredom and you can you know scribble with apple pencil if you have an ipad or if you have a samsung tab they also you know have that uh, digital pencil uh, which would help you to annotate so it is not necessary to buy an iPad, but though iPad is much convenient to annotate rather than the other apps. So uh, on iPad, the uh, app I use to annotate my first state is GoodNotes app. <coughs> Basically, it's a uh, paid app which is available on the Apple App Store. Uh, you can also check it. It's a very great app because you know it has many cool features which are available like the cutting tool, uh, the uh, editing tool, the funky color highlighters available and different pens available and different paper templates available. You can try it and you can visit their website too, good notes. So yeah, so getting an ebook is really important because you know uh, already I've told you so many reasons and I uh, you know I bet and please trust me that this is going to help you a lot. So the next tip about how to read first aid for USMLE step one is that please get your books punch hole and arrange them in a folder like I have done. See this is my first aid and I have divided my first aid into three parts. I'll show you other books also. So see this is the kind of organization that I prefer during my step preparation you can see. So it'll uh, it'll be become you know uh, very convenient for you to add A4 sheets and you know annotate as well because uh, as we know that first aid is a very condensed book and a lot of space is not available to write so I've added pages like this as you can see. So I've got colored craft papers and I wrote uh, the annotation from first aid and uh, annotation from U word and uh, many other sources during my preparation and I added them in my book in a very easy and you know user friendly way. So as you can see I've you know uh, annotated my first aid in a very organized manner like 
whatever annotations have been uh, the source uh, from where they have been taken from i have clearly clearly written that this is this annotation is from u word and that is from kaplan and um n number of sources though i would uh, you know advise you guys not to you know follow too many too many sources because it will just add confusion and you know it will distract you so this is how i have annotated my first state like basically uh the thing is that you need to know what is important and what is the useless information this is very important it is said uh, it is not you know not true that every single word is important you have to you know uh, uh incline your mind towards a clinical uh, orientation uh, according to you what uh, what should be the you know most important thing in this topic you have to think in that manner just like a good doctor so this is how it will help another tip i want to give you guys is that to get a uh, super cute stationery uh, you know we spend a lot on useless items and we never think about it but when it comes to buying stationery we are often reluctant uh, because we think that we should not waste money but what i have you know uh, experienced in my uh, step preparation is that i used to you know get very uh, fancy stationery for myself and uh, uh, for me it worked i don't know if it'll work for you but uh, i think it would i would i used to go to the stationery shops and uh, get those fancy pens and i always preferred getting the colored pens and that too with a very minute tip that uh, that is a uh, uh, point 0.4 or point 0.5 or point 0.35 because the reason behind this is that our first aid you know uh you should make sure that your pen is having a sharp tip needle tip because there is not much space available in our first aid and you have to color code everything whatever is very important you have to write it in red and whatever is like you can remember it but it is important you can write it in green color and uh, there are other colors also i'll make a separate video for the color coding for the first aid but uh my uh, you know purpose of telling you to get good stationery stuff is because it helps you to stay organized and it motivates you to study uh, this has worked for me every time so the thing is that uh, you should get post it flags also i'll show you how they work so whenever i used to open my first aid book i used to get confused where that particular topic is so i went to the stationery shop and got a permanent marker as well as the post it flags as you can see these are the post it flags which i have applied on my pages so supposing if i want to search for a particular topic and uh, i don't have much time to flip through the pages so how these flags are going to help you is that um, i was searching for exo and endotoxins which are uh, there in the bacteriology so i've written on my flag about the exo and the endotoxin and uh, on the big tab flags uh, the i have divided my first aid into the various organ systems so that it would in, uh, it would be very convenient for me to find these and trust me guys this is a big big time saver and it saves a lot of your time as well as it doesn't uh, you know make you frustrated finding those topics uh, and flipping through the pages in the first aid so i would be discussing few more and other important tips in my next video so please subscribe to my youtube channel and press the notification bell icon available so that you can get notified whenever i upload a new video my channel link is in the description box so please follow me thank you